Okay, this is section 10.4, and it's on a one-way analysis of variance, also known as an ANOVA. And uh, this is a hypothesis test that's used to compare means for three or more populations. So let's go ahead and do this example. This uh, table below here shows the annual amount spent on reading and dollars for a random sample of American consumers from four different regions of the United States. And it says, summarize the result at the uh, most significant alpha level well, what we're going to do is we're going to test to see if any of the means for these four areas is significantly different than the others. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this data and copy it. So I'll highlight it, right mouse click and copy. And I'm going to go to the Excel sheet and I'm going to go to the ANOVA Excel spreadsheet. It's one of your last uh, spreadsheets on there. And then to the right I'm going to click at group one, right mouse click and choose paste special as text. As soon as it comes up here, text. Say OK. And I got the data in there. Now let me get rid of these extra data values from a previous problem. So let me get those out of there. So now I just have in my data points that I'm dealing with from the four different regions. Now this is important. Since we're dealing with four groups, you have to put the number four right in here. Here's where you put in your number of groups and it can handle from three up to ten groups. Once you have that in there, then you need to click the copy button and it will copy the values for the means, variances, degrees of freedom, and your sample sizes for those uh, <coughs> groups and put them in here. At this point, what we need to do is just really scroll down to the bottom and see what the uh, sum of squares is and all that. But the important thing is the p-value. And we see that the p-value is 0.21, which is bigger than any alpha level that we would possibly use, even bigger than an alpha level of 0.1. So in other words, we do not reject an all hypothesis. And the summary on this problem would be at any alpha level, I was unable to show. Let's scroll on down to it. So again, at any alpha level, I was unable to show that the average amount of money spent on reading at any of the locations, those four locations up there, is significantly different than the average amount spent at any of the other locations. Okay, let's try one more here. It gives you a little note here at the bottom that we'll get into on this problem. This gives you uh, three airline um, <coughs> location, three airline companies, and they offer flights between these two cities. And we have some uh, uh, randomly selected some costs for these, or actually time and minutes for these flights. And we want to see if there's any difference in the population means. So since we're dealing with population means and we have more than two groups, we're going to uh, copy this and paste this into our Excel sheet on the ANOVA sheet. I'll just click here, right mouse click and paste special as text again. And again, remember to get rid of any extra data. So we have this whole column of extra stuff that doesn't pertain to this problem. And then make sure that you make the number of groups right here three, since we're dealing with just three groups, and then click the copy button. So this updated our means and so forth. So we have all that calculated now. And then once you have that calculated, we can scroll down and see if there's any significant differences. I have the alpha level set to the lowest, or actually the worst alpha level we could use, 0.1, the most non-significant alpha level that we can use. And we see that the p-value is actually 0 0.006. So that means we could actually, if we were summarizing the most significant alpha level, we could actually take this clear down to 0 0.01. And we would still get a uh, reject the null hypothesis at the point of one. We wouldn't get it any lower than that. So at this point, we could say we could say uh, 
at the point oh one alpha level there is a significant difference in at least one of the mean air flight times so one of them is significantly different now we don't know which one is significantly different unless we look at the bottom of the sheet because at the bottom of the sheet is what's called a post hoc test it's after you do the ANOVA test and if you do reject the hypothesis, you can look at the bottom to see where the significant difference or differences might be and so since we got this is checking to see if the mu for one of these groups like group one is equal to the mean for the second group well there's no significant difference on the first to second group but there is a significant difference between the mean flight time for group one and the mean flight time for group two or sorry group three so that's where your significant difference is at the point what O1 alpha level you were able to show that there is a significant difference between the average flight time between uh, airline company one and airline company three now if we look at the means we can actually be a little bit more precise so one is 123 and three is 142 and since we rejected the null hypothesis on the ANOVA and we also rejected the uh, that one and three are equal not only can I say that there is a difference but I can specify the direction here I can say that the mean for group three for company three mean air flight time for company three is significantly greater than the mean air flight time for company one and that would pretty much do it now you could always check other alpha levels to see if you get a reject let's go clear down to point well let's go to point oh five a second and we'll see if we get a reject on it, on any of these down here no just just the one so again one and three was only at the point oh one alpha level we could check point one and see if we get a reject on the uh, on the uh, any of the other combinations so checking point one again this is the only difference is one and three so that's where the significant difference is and uh, that